All right, Caleb, what game are we playing today? Pentago. Ooh, Pentago, 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 however you want to say it, right? Yep. All right. Well, do you like Pentago? Um, yes. And why? Because it's a, it's a tricky game, and you have to think about what you're going to do. Yeah. Because these things twist. Ooh, so it's a two-player game. A good abstract two-player game. All right. Well, show me how you play. Okay. First, you place a marble. Okay. Of your color. Then you can twist one of these only ninety degrees. You can't do it one hundred and eighty degrees. Okay. And then that's pretty simple. Place a marble and twist the tile. Mm -hmm. But then you. Have but then it gets really complicated at doing the game. All right. How about I come over there and play, and we'll see how complicated it gets. Okay. All right. Your turn. So you won because I didn't even see you coming through from that angle, huh? Yeah, because it was like this and that, but if you twisted it like that, I would still place it, and then I'd have to do that, and then I'd have to do that, and then I'd have to do that. So it's a good thinking game because you got to plan ahead. Yeah. And you got to keep an eye out. Yep. Whew, that's a good one. So what would you rate, Pentago? I would rate it a four. Awesome, thanks. And there's another cool thing about this game and how you put it away, right? How easy it stores? Show me. Oh. That's all you have to do. Awesome. Thanks. Bye.